Hello, welcome to Fast Nope. Hello, and welcome to Fashion Under Isolation. I'm Ingrid Andrus, and I've been quarantined for 39 days. This actually isn't my real apartment. It's very temporary because um, my other apartment got hit by the tornado that came through Nashville. So I'm kind of like in this halfway place right now to where I'm still looking for a new place but can't actually look for a new place. The only meal that I've been able to successfully make is eggs and bacon. I don't want to get out of bed, but it's time. Today I'm picking out an outfit to wear in isolation and I might make a mimosa. It's gonna get crazy. <laughs> I actually have more clothes than this, um, but all of them are in storage because of the tornado in my apartment. A lot of these clothes, or most of them, are my stage clothes because I was on tour when the whole shelter at home thing happened. So I literally only have show clothes or panic grab clothes. Uh, my style is a mixture of like masculine and feminine, so I don't have dresses. I love pants and suits, making it kind of sexy. Shoe-wise, like I obviously have heels for very rare occasions when I feel like falling. Skinny jean versus mom jean is always the toughest question because it depends on like how I feel about my body that day and if I feel terrible, I'm like mom jeans. Always a crop top. I am a crop top ambassador, yes. Which I'm trying to live up now because I feel like when I get to a certain age, it's not gonna be okay anymore. Diane Keaton is an icon, for sure. I like people who go against trends. Like for instance, Billie Eilish totally branded the whole oversized, like baggy thing. And I think that is what's so cool about fashion is that it's about the person that comes with the clothes. This suit, these tassels are insane and amazing. I wore it on the Colbert show right before everything happened. So this was like my last dress up moment. So I will cherish this for a very long time. It looked really cool too, because I was playing the piano. So these like draped down the side of the piano bench. Felt like Elton John or something. This really raggedy hoodie, um, but it's the college where my grandfather went to and he passed away. It's not really embarrassing. It's just like, it's a little weird. It's a, a Preds jersey, but it has my name on the back of it. Is this even comfortable? Ooh. Mm. Oh, it could be a dress. <laughs> okay, let's turn this into a crop top. Oh yeah. Oh no. Hey Predators. I'm your number one fan. Okay, now I'm gonna pick out what I'm gonna wear for today. I'm feeling more of a t-shirt. I like this one a lot. This is a made worn shirt that I am obsessed with. So these are my favorite jeans. Um, I've had them for a while, actually, and they just fit so well. I just love when a pair of jeans just like already knows your body better than you do. You're like, oh, thank you for making me look so good. So we're gonna do these. Oh yeah, I'm gonna look great for the grocery store. And here she is. Love Metallica, actually. I didn't just buy this at Forever 21. This is my ladylike necklace. Um, and obviously it's because of my album, Ladylike. And it just reminds me who I am sometimes. Well, I'm feeling pretty good. Putting jeans on is the real victory of today. Thanks so much for watching. And if you can, please donate to Save the Children. It's an organization that helps children in need during this time. And that's it for me. Time to start my day. Call some people up. Actually, I'm gonna FaceTime them so that they can appreciate this outfit. No phone calls, only FaceTime.